Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, John from the Game of Doom here. Welcome you to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, in the latest episode. Um, we went to this chibi virtual world, and I don't know how to feel about it. Like, straight up, it could go one of many ways, and I just, I, I just genuinely don't know. This, this is scary. But hey, I fixed the thing, and it was bugging me, and I figured it out, and that's okay. Um, I was like, this seems weird. Like, things have been really weird in the last couple episodes. Yeah, they were, because I can't do things right sometimes. It's fine. So, we're gonna talk to this glowing phone, because I'm so glad they made it glaringly apparent what I'm supposed to go click on. I swear if this is actually not what I'm supposed to click on. Exclamation point. What is this phone? What does it connect to? What does it connect to, Shuichi? Why are you... Oh, do I talk to Mew first? Oh, probably. Uh, um... So... What do you have to tell us, Mew? Sure. Well, it's not that big of a deal, but there's a special rule to this world. Oh, God. Objects here are unbreakable. Oh, God. Why? Why are they unbreakable? Objects don't break? You know. In the virtual world, there's no rules that govern whether objects can break. So in any object, no matter what it is, can be never be broken. Oh, God. For example, if you stretch a rubber band far enough, it'll eventually tear, you know? But here, the rubber band would just stop stretching at a certain point and not tear. For some, the same reason your avatars can't get injured, but you still feel the pain. See, I told you it's not that big of a deal. Hey! What are you talking about? Uh, that is a really big deal. You gotta tell us this stuff beforehand. <laughs> so, so sorry, but that's all the only special thing. In every other sense, the physics here are the same. Oh, wait. That's right. There's a special thing about the avatars, too. Don't lie. There's still more. Spit it already. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're sweet. She's getting there, Himiko. I, Himiko's actually being active, though, and I'm here for it. Um, and what is this special thing about our avatars? Um, to make things fair, everyone's avatar in this world is the same average physical strength. Which means... Does that mean that there is no discernible difference in our physical abilities? What did you say? So in the virtual world, I am just as strong as Ganta? No way! What? Ganta weaker? That also because Himiko magic? That not no. good! No. If Ganta no strong, Ganta no protect everyone. Mm. It's not your... It's not my fault. That's just how the world is. Um, are those things... Oh, the only things that are different about this world, Mew? Hmm. Yeah, that's just about everything. Oh, by the way, how do we log out from this world? Ah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I need to tell you that. If you ever want to log out, you just need to use the phone over there. Just pick it up and say your name. That's simple. Or is that simple enough for you shitheads? Also, that phone is fixed, so you cannot be removed. It cannot be removed from the room, which means you have to use this room to log in and out. Whenever you log in, you'll always appear in this room. Hmm. Okay, I Got it. You get it? You guys better not cheat by logging out alone. We still have to find that secret of the outside world. Jeez. Yeah, we got it. Where's the map? Ah. The map is posted on the wall outside of this room, so follow me. Oh, Mew. Oh, God. Oh, we can actually run still. That's cool. I actually didn't expect to be able to run. <laughs> I was waiting to have to walk everywhere. It's like, I was like, oh, no. No, we can actually run, and everybody can run. Look at us go! That being said. Look, there's a map over there that I prepared for you guys. Oh. <laughs> Study it so you'll know the virtual world like some Mugi knows the back of her neck. Why? Uh, what about the back of my neck? Uh, how do you know that spot's sensitive? Okay. I see the back of your neck, huh? Weirdo. Why are you guys so interested in that? You're so gross there it's kaido though and like only my boyfriend is allowed to tell me that not the other way around there are two maps posted here one is big and one is small so i'll look at the latter the mansion you know this map is the map to the mansion which is the building that we're in right now this area is the entrance hall and this that room over there is the salon and the dining hall and the kitchen and the bathroom are also on the first floor. Mm. So there's no second area or floor, or, but I do see a rooftop area. Hmm. The rooftop, huh? 
I guess that'd give us a good view. Let's check that out later. Okay. Yeah, good idea. Oh, God. Somebody's gonna die in this room. We're gonna have to figure out how and why and what. Oh, God. But before we do, I should look at the big map. This is the map of the outside. Looks like they map of the entire virtual world. Piece of shit! Listen up, you shithead! Make sure you remember everything about this world! Uh, um, Looks pretty expansive if it continues even past the river. Uh, is this an ellipsis here showing that it continues? Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'll tell you what that sign means later. You'll understand once you actually go there. What could she mean by that? Uh. Ah, there's another building over there. Sure. Yeah, that's just a dinky chapel. Uh, it was like cluttered and oh, a cluttered mess in there. A lot of stuff, huh? Maybe the secret to the outside world is hidden in there. By the way. Oh, I just noticed. Um, there are black lines drawn around the world map. But does that mean something? <laughs> <laughs> How nice of you to notice. Of course, it means something. That black line over there represents a wall. Huh? A wall. Booyah! So yeah, the virtual world is actually surrounded by a huge ass wall. It can't be. Surrounded by a wall. So are we trapped even in this world? You know. Uh, but no, you're not trapped here. Beyond that wall is the end of the world, literally. Past that wall, nothing exists and everything ends. Which means... I see. So that wall is the end of the world. By the way, Mew, you prepared these maps yourselves, right? Not Monokuma? Th that's right. I prepared the maps. What about it? Um, oh, no, nothing. I just wanted to know. You did not just want to know. What? Something sounded off about Mew's response. Hey. We should be focusing on a more important issue right now. Jeez. Yeah, there's this world... Where's this world? This, or where in the world is this secret of the outside world? But it's gotta be pretty hard to find something like, or find something when we have no clue of what we're looking for. Got a minute? Where do you think you're going? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna go investigate alone. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's interesting here that I want to check out. What? Like hell, I'm gonna let you do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want. And why do I need your permission, Kaido? I am free to do whatever I want. I'm not, I'm going no matter what you guys say. Well, it'd be a hassle if someone kept watch over me. Uh, kept watch? Allow Gonta. Gonta not understand what's going on. Gonta not sure how helpful he can be. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he don't do anything weird. <laughs> Gonta, you're so sweet, but I knew you would say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Uh, bodyguard? Hey, With you on my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go! Wait! Co wait, Kokichi? It's okay. It's okay. Leave it to Gata. Gata, keep eye on Kokichi. Oh god. Bodyguard? You mean Gonta? Oh, yeah. It seems he planned this all along. Jeez. Jeez, uh, he really knows how to manipulate people. Okay. Manipulating the most gullible human being on the freaking earth, or at least in this group, is not a skill. But okay, Kaido. You can treat it like that, I guess. Well, whatever. Let's go check out that rooftop. Booyah! All right. Follow me if you want to peek up my skirt while you are at it. Go for it, uh. Oh my god, we're gonna do this. Oh god, why are we gonna do this? I don't wanna do this. Can we not do this? That'd be great. But I have to. I don't have a choice. It's okay. It is so funny that I'm- It's like- It feels like I'm playing, like, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining probably like, just running up the steps! And it, it's got, like, this little, like, wind-up toy physics is what I'm like that's the that's the first thing that I'm like thinking is like we wound up Shuichi and then just <laughs> anyway snow there's snow here oh. whoa it's snow like look monkey roll it's snow look snow Ew. <sighs> you a dog 
dog. I mean, not in the literal sense. Seems like. Is it cold here? Our avatars can feel cold? Sure. Yup, isn't it great? Not only can you feel the cold, but you can even feel the pain and pleasure too. In fact, you don't even need to use birth control here. That's crazy. Hey, try to be quiet, please. I feel like the more you talk, the more I just dislike you. Damn! That's right. <laughs> oh, Samugi. Damn. That was, that was cold. Literally, because it's snowing. Um, how about the start by, how about we start by exploring the rooftop? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. AKA, the only way we can click on. Mounted binoculars. <laughs> Man, looks like you've got to, a lot of experience with binoculars. <laughs> You're such an obvious peeping Tom. I have a lot of experience with binoculars. What does that even mean? You can see pretty far with these mounted binoculars. I mean, duh, they're binoculars. Feel free to look around with them and get a good look at everything. So there's the end. There's that waterfall. Huh? The binoculars can't see past here. Ah, ah this is the line where the map was. You know. I told you that it's not a line! Uh, then what is it? Why do the binoculars stop there? Psh, aggressive men is always coming and going and coming too soon! Uh, I'll explain it to you when you get there, so don't get your panties in a bind! Uh, what is she even talking about? What could be over there? Um, a lot of things, Shuichi. Looks like a storage room. I should check inside. Uh, it um, doesn't seem as though there is anything of interest in, in here, but in any case. I rewrote the program to delete all dangerous objects that could be used as weapons. Uh, well, I don't see anything dangerous that could be used as weapon. Besides, this is a simulator, right? We won't actually die, right? Don't ask that question, Chuichi. Perhaps because all the weapons were deleted, the shelves are empty. The only thing that's here is an empty box and some lattice. Roll it up carpet, huh? It does look safe. We aren't being told no. Hmm. Well, did you manage to examine any of the places that caught your hmm. eye? Yes, but there weren't too many points of interest. Uh... Um, it's really cold. I don't really think it... Be snow. I didn't really think it'd be snowing. Nice, Himiko! If that means you trip and hit your head, it won't hurt! Uh, don't be rude. Uh, I'm not the type to trip that often. Uh, that's why... Or way too clinched... Or cliched of a gag. Jeez. Snow in a mansion? How ominous. <sighs> Great job, Killing Game Simulator. But you know... But we're not leaving any footprints in it. So what's up with that? That's true. It's probably because it's programmed like that. It'd be easy to find the culprit from the footprints. Ah. Oh, yeah. Um, look that way, but you don't need to... It looks that way, but you don't need to worry about that. This is just a simulation, so nothing dangerous... Or there's no dangerous items here whatsoever. Let's go outside, and we can cross the river and head to the chapel. But you know... But you know... Or, but how do we even cross the river? I didn't remember seeing any bridges. <laughs> Jeez, are you so fucking stupid? You're supposed or approaching Savantard territory. Let's just go over there so I can explain to you idiots all at once. Oh God, you. Hmm. Kibo, is something wrong? Well. Well, I was just looking at the wall and started to think about what Mew said. How nothing exists beyond that wall. And then I started thinking about the wall that surrounds the academy. Oh no. Never mind. I forget what I just said. Well then. We should get going. If you're late, Mew will chew us out with vulgar profanities. I mean, you're not wrong, um, Mr. Barry, apparently. But honestly, no, no, no. Kibo's on to something, though. Like, honestly, I think Kibo is actually right here. I think that that's supposed to be the secret. Like, the secret of, it doesn't matter if you get out or not, there's literally nothing on the outside world, so it doesn't even freaking like, don't even worry about it, Captain, like, 
Just stay trapped here forever and literally it'll be okay. But, oh wait, it's too late and you won't believe me? Oh, 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 so you're gonna murder more people. Got it, yep, fair. Um, literally what's gonna happen. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing anyway. A strange clock, is this used taste? No, it can't be. This world was originally created by Monokuma. I'll head outside. We'll get there. We'll go outside. It's okay. Anyway, that's my prediction. However wrong it may be, and it probably is very, very wrong, but it's okay. I like being wrong. Being wrong is fine. Mirai Hills. There's no bridge after all. How are you even supposed to cross the river? Um, just so you know, my magic doesn't work in this world. Uh, well, don't tell me. Do you? Do we have to swim? Fine, I won't tell you. Besides, you can't even go to the river in the virtual world. Then should we use something like a boat? Fucking moron! Jeez, not. You're not even trying to hide your own stupidity. The river current is too fast, and the boat gets swept away easily. We need a bridge then, right? Listen up. I told you, we already got a bridge! There's a wider river downstream that connects to one. Next to it, there's a longboard sign that says Mirai Hills. Apparently it was meant for the mansion, but it was a makeshift that we can use well as a bridge. Done. So do we need to get that signboard? Yes, we do. <laughs> yeah, but I'll ask the masochist to go get it since he loves being bossed around. Shuichi, go get that sideboard. Huh? What? Me? Jeez. Yeah, just go get that sideboard. Why? Huh? Hmm. Yeah, you're a total masochist. Huh? Huh? Wait a minute. Do you all think that about me? <laughs> uh, just to make it special. No! Wait. There. Okay, we're fine. I just want you to. Or uh, I want you to get it while you crawl like a dog. Uh, no, um... I will walk only. Thank you. Damn. Me was like, uh, walk like a dog. It'd be crazy. This is the signboard that says Mariah Hills. All right. I'll just grab this and head back to the others. <laughs> Piece of shit. Hey, I thought I told you to crawl like a dog. No. You actually thought I would be on all fours. <laughs> Whatever. Quit wasting time and lay the signboard across the river. Okay. Alrighty then. Sure. See, it perfectly fits. We have ourselves a bridge now. Yeah. You're gonna walk all over this shabby looking signboard? Ugh, it's definitely gonna break. Fucking moron! Your brain must be smaller than your tits. I told you, objects don't break in this world. I see. Oh, so even a crappy signboard can use or be a sturdy bridge in this world, huh? Listen up! The signboard is the only bridge we got, so don't fuck it up and let it get washed away. If the signboard gets washed away we by the river, we won't have a bridge anymore. Stop it. All right, already. Sheesh. Uh, you're so annoying. Uh, oh? Huh? There's a bridge. Oh, thank God. Uh, I gave up when I realized I had no way to cross the river. <laughs> Where were you and what were you doing? Um, oh, I was in the forest over there looking for the secret to the outside world. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't find it. Well... I wasn't expecting it to be that easy anyway. Right, Ganta? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect! It's way more convenient than we're all together anyway! Mm -hmm. What do you mean, convenient? Uh, n nothing. Um, whatever. We're just gonna cross the river. Oh, shit. I hit B way too fast. I, like, held B, and that's not the button we want to press in this game. Yeah, that was stressful, uh, but there was something, or a thing about these objects breaking, no? Hey! Oh my god! Can I, like, where is the damn button that I'm looking for? There's the damn button I'm looking for. Holy hell. Um, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, hurry up and get over here, you guys. It's too late to head back now anyway. Oh, is the thing about objects not breaking true? Yeah, that's what I've been saying! Uh, aren't we beyond the point of the wavy line drawn on the map? 
Ah. You'll find out if you keep going forward. Why don't you check it out? Uh, this is disconcerting. Yeah, it is very disconcerting, Shuichi. You're not wrong. Huh? What? What was that? What? What was that? What just happened? For a second, I felt like I lost consciousness, and everything went black, and now I'm here. Nope. That didn't happen to our bodies, but it happened to this world. Huh? What do you mean? But... But that was an accurate description, as if the world itself had switched over. Yeah, because the map map changed, I think? You're right! Could it be floating? <laughs> Correct! I mean, uh, erect! Uh, uh, you said the right word the first time? That being said. Anyway, Four Eyes is right! Y'all got past the map floating point! You know. In some games, if you go into a building, it'll take a moment to fully load. Well, the outside is like that too, because the virtual world is divided by two large maps. The wavy line represents where the two maps meet. Think of it as two maps that are in two different rooms, in the same way that you guys go through a door to move between rooms. To move between two maps, you have to pass through the map loading point. Then... Is that why you can't see past the point of the binoculars or on the binoculars of the roof? Ah. Obviously, you can't see what's inside one room if you're standing in the other. Fair point. Oh, oh a map loading point? Oh my god. <laughs> How fun! Uh, so not only do you use your sight get cut off, but your sound also gets cut off too. Uh, ah. Yeah, you can't hear anything at all while you're inside the map loading point. So no sound goes through either. All right. So the chapel's over here, right? Well, I'm gonna go out ahead then. Hey! Hey, don't go out ahead. I don't trust you being off alone by yourself. I told you. It's just because you pay attention to him, like, or it's because you pay attention to him, like that. You're more likely to be tricked. That's fair. Giving him the time of day literally helps him, but okay. But you do like, like it's like the toddlers. You give them more attention, they're gonna do it more. Well then. This is a, ch this chapel is a mess, huh? Mm. Searching this place is gonna be hard. Oh, yeah. uh, now that we've checked out all the important places in the virtual world, Listen up. let's split up to look for the secrets of the outside world. Uh. Uh. So we're splitting up, huh? Yeah, that's probably better. I wonder what that secret to the outside world could be. Mm. Monokuma did not give us any information about it either. Actually, Are we going to be able to find it if we don't even know what it is? Hmm. There's no point in asking uh, whether we'll find it or not. We just gotta do it. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Just keep an eye out for anything suspicious and it's bound to turn up. Hmm. Sounds like we have a difficult task ahead of us, but I guess we're gonna be able to see it through. Oh yeah, um, before we split up, I want to ask you something new. Hmm? What were you two whispering about? Piece of shit! Mind your business, titless! Quit sticking your pot belly where he doesn't even belong! Mm -hmm. I don't even have a pot belly. I definitely don't have a pot belly. Uh... But you're not denying the first part. Well... Um, so... Who's going to decide if we split up? Leave it to me. Leave it to me, or leave it all to me. I'll figure out everyone and split up the f it, or split it up in a flash. Wait. No, no, hold up. I will decide that. I know this world better than any of you, so I will decide. I see. Oh, you sure? Sure. Kaido, I want you to search the rooftop of the mansion. What? What? Why do I have to go up to the freaking cold out there? Hmm. Yeah, there's no way the faint-hearted Kaido could search in the cold. Alright, All right, bring it on. All I gotta do is search for the rooftop, right? Kaido and Kokichi really don't seem to get along. Well then. Kokichi, you're in charge of the salon. Okay. Got it. Hmm. We need to we need about three more people to search the mansion. Doesn't matter who. What? The plan became pretty sloppy all of a sudden. Oh, I see. Then Gonzo should come with me. Then we can search the mansion surrounding since no one else wants to deal with the cold. Hmm. Okay. Got to come with you. Yeah. Hmm, 
A true gentleman must always volunteer to be a, do the dirty work. Oh my. So you're gonna just use Gata again? I've decided I'm going that way too. I have to make sure you're not abusing poor Gata. All right. I need, we still need one more for mansion duty. Shuichi, come on with us. Okay. Uh, can we not? I think it's better if we stay here and actually investigate the new things, but okay, Kaido. I guess I gotta listen to you. Cause I gotta be this amazing boyfriend, but it's fine. Is Maki upset? Because she's all by herself now? Even if I asked her, I suspect she would just ask me if I wanted to die again. I should keep quiet for now. Booyah! All right, everyone else, stick with me in the, here in the chapel and look for a secret. So he become Maki me and myself. Understood. All right. Let's go back to the mansion. We gotta find the secret to the outside world. We gotta go do that, I guess. Maki roll. Do a good job, Maki roll. Hey, so. Hey, Maki, is Maki roll mad? Shuichi, did you do something? No, actually, you did. You actually did something, Kaido. But it's okay. It's not like you're ever gonna recognize that anyway. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. I. Shuichi also does not help because he's so non confrontational. But I get it because I would probably be like, yeah, I did something, walk away, and then get mad at Kaido later. I suppose it makes sense for a chapel to have an organ. Kaido probably would have played the organ well too. That's possible. It's sure messy in here. There's a mountain of books, posters, and what looks like Christmas decorations. Was this meant to hide the secret of the outside world? Oh, shit. That's something Monica will do. Shuichi, we'll take care of searching around the chapel. I will show you that I am leagues apart from the household cleaning robots. Uh, okay. okay, I'll leave the chapel to you, Kibo. I'm sorry, Kibo. I wanted to make Mew happy. Not Mew. Well... I mean, yes, Mew, but also more Maki, but... All right. Did everyone cross the bridge? Okay, then. Let's head to the mansion together. Huh? Whoops, my hand slipped. Uh, oh. <gasps> Mew. You. Naughty girl. I cannot believe you just did that. What are you doing? Uh, I just came here to see you guys off, and then my hand accidentally slipped. Uh, Don't it, screw around. That was obviously on purpose. Uh, it wasn't on purpose at all. It, it, it was an accident. Uh, shut up! You keep talking shit like that, but you're only gonna ever attract ugly bitches. Do you want to spend the rest of your life surrounded by ugly bitches, you dumbass? Ugh. Holy hell. Shit, that's not even my fault. I'm famous for attracting ugly people. Uh, um, what are you they fighting about? I've met a lot of people up till now, but I've never met someone so messed up. Uh, shit! Seriously, uh, that girl is in so much trouble. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's one more person here. But... But what are the people in the chapel going to do now that they have no way to get across? Huh? You're right. They can only log out from the salon and the mansion. Well, um, maybe you can fix it later. Um, let's just get to the mansion already. Uh, That's right. We'll deal with them later. First, we gotta get to the secret of the outside world. Oh, shh. I keep hitting bait. I need to stop doing that. The secret of the outside world. I can't imagine what that could be. I can... All, all I can do is hope that that means a way out. And it's because I'm actually able to use the run function, and I don't want to walk in this virtual world whereas in the other world walking is fine and not that big of a deal walking is so much more of a deal in the, the virtual world so it's actually it is kind of hilarious i'm gonna investigate a little bit we literally investigated the forest woo we did it we investigated the forest woo. we didn't need to chat i think we're going to the rooftop but hmm. gata and kaido are gonna check on the mansion surroundings in the rooftop and i'll go to the salon and the pair can plan, or so can the plain pair, Samugi and Shuichi. They can plainly search the dining hall and the kitchen. Sorry. 
Sorry, Shuichi. I, it's my fault you got paired with me. But everyone knows that the plain pair is just plain dangerous. Yes, yes, girl. Uh, okay. uh, I don't know about that. Um, Got to go now. Uh... It's surprisingly cold out there, so be careful. You should come back here to warm up. It's okay. Thank you, but Ganta okay. Ganta not smart enough to get sick. Come on, man. Everyone who isn't smart wouldn't want to save everyone. They'd only think for themselves. Mm. Oh, thank you. Hey. Okay, uh, let's stop the fun chit chat and go back to looking for the secret of the outside world. But when we don't know what's waiting for us, we gotta be very careful, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, we'll start searching too. Right. Yeah, I would. I want to hurry and find the secret of the outside world so we can go back. I want to go back to my real body. Ah. Well, these avatars, they aren't really bad, you know. Huh? Huh? These avatars? <laughs> just kidding. It's only a joke. I'm just joking. I gotta go check the rooftop, so you guys better not slack off. Says the one Gonta. that slacks off all the time. Got to go now. Hey! Shuichi, we should go too. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Um. So, I'll check the dining room. You can ch please check the kitchen, Suichi. Leave it to me. Alright. The kitchen is over here. We're supposed to be searching for the secret of the outside world, but what is it? An object? Something else entirely? Wow. I suppose I should search everywhere. Anything that looks suspicious. I searched every nook and cranny in the kitchen, but... Hmm. <sighs> I looked everywhere, but I didn't find anything suspicious. Perhaps I missed something? I'll look one more time. But it was just a waste of time, as I found nothing. Hmm. It's been a while, but I can't find anything. I haven't found anything even after all of this. It can't be in the kitchen. What should I do now? Search somewhere else? Shuichi! How'd your search go, Shuichi? No. I didn't find anything. How about you? <gasps> Same. I checked every corner, but didn't find a thing. I'm starting to wonder if there even is something actually hidden here. Was Monokuma just lying? The way Monokuma was talking was certainly suspicious. Well, Monokuma, did you prepare some bait or sort of bait for us? Oh, bait! Of course I have! Uh, my gosh! Woohoo! Your curiosity is piqued! Then you should have no choice but to go! Yeah, we want to know, so we'll definitely go. It was Kokichi who was steering that conversation. But why would he do that? Oh, by the way, is there something that's been bothering me? That's... Hmm, something's bothering you? Um... Yeah, it might be my imagination, but there's a small window in the dining room. It, maybe ten minutes ago, I looked through it, and I thought I saw Mew. Huh? You saw Mew? But she should be in the chapel. Yeah. yeah. And the bridge fell, so she shouldn't be able to get back over there, right? That's why I, I thought it was just my imagination, but I figured I would say something. Huh? B what? What was that sound? N no. It sounded as if something was stuck. Or struck very hard. It came from outside, but... Sumugi, let's go look. What was that? Yeah. Oh god. I mean, it can't be anything terrible, right? No way it's actually like... its I feel like it's just hyping me up and it's nothing... Oh wait, we have to look out the window. I'm dumb. Oh wait, maybe I'm not. Hmm. Nothing in the entrance hall. Something outside perhaps? Could be. Maybe the sound was something falling off... Or something falling off the roof? But... The person on the roof is... What should we do? For, for, for now, let's go outside and check. Oh, no. Huh? What? B what? That was Kibo's voice, right? I think I heard him outside. He sounded close. Why? But Kibo, he should be in the chapel. Why? Um... Anyway, let's go outside. It'll be faster if we see it for ourselves. Okay. Right.
respawn point? Oh, oh, Shuichi and Samugi. Gonta. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? No. No, Gonta not see him. Um. Huh? You didn't, but I heard his voice close by. Then, did someone fall off the roof? You heard that loud noise, right? Um. Oh, Gonta hear noise, but Gonta not see anything. Huh? What could that mean? I thought I heard a voice, or heard the sound of Kibo's voice close by. But Gonta didn't see anything. And what about Kaido? He should have heard it from the roof. He would have run over right away. What's going on? Hey, Shuichi, what does this all mean? Such strange occurrences. All right, my talent is solving mysteries. So that's what I'm going to all do. Right. We need to figure out why Kibo screamed. Let's head to the chapel. Something might have happened there. Um. Yeah, you're, you're right. We you literally can't, though. Oh, wait. Shuichi. Shuichi, perfect timing. Is there anything over there that can be conserve or that can serve as a bridge? What? Huh? Key was over there. Then, what was the sound? Or what was that shouting I heard earlier? Well... Hey, we should hurry up and find something else we can replace the bridge with. Right. Yeah, we might be able to make it in time. Huh? Make it in time? What do you mean? Hey! What happened? Uh, why are you guys making such a scene? Uh, Kokichi! Um... I didn't see anyone in the dining room, so I went to look for you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it looked like everyone's in trouble now that Mia dropped the bridge! Kokichi... That this is no time for laughter. We need to find a replacement bridge. Ah. Oh, but the bridge is over here, you know. Huh? What? <laughs> Come on, over here. All right. Anyway, let's go. <sighs> Gokichi told us, so now I'm worried. Uh, but let's just wait and see what happens. See, uh, the signboard stuck on that boulder is the same as the one you dropped, right? Oh, yeah. oh, you're right. It got swept all the way here. Allow Gonta. Leave it to Gonta. Gonta need, just need to carry signboard. All right. Uh, now that that's dealt with, let's head back to where everyone else is. Uh... <laughs> mm, are they back yet? Hey. Oh. They're here. Um. So Gonta need to put board over river. But board soaked in will be okay. But what if board breaks it this time? You get it? It may be thin, but it's made of a sturdy wood. So you can just hurry up and put the bridge down already. Got it. Uh, what happened? What's wrong? What happened over there? Well, I'll explain later. We need to log out right now. Huh? Log out. Oh? Huh? Where's Mew? Uh, ah. so something happened to her. Huh? What do you mean? Well... We're not sure, but her avatar isn't moving. Maybe something happened in the real world that's preventing her from moving it. Hmm. This looks bad, guys. Uh, okay, let's head to the salon and log out ASAP. Hey. Hey, where's Kaido? Well, that's... Uh, Kaido, I don't know. I ran here as fast as I could. I didn't check the roof. What? You didn't even bother going to the roof to get him? You're colder than I thought. Huh? Shuichi! Shuichi, let's hurry. Can I go to the roof and get him or check on him? I'm assuming that I can do that. We better be able to do that. I swear if I'm not able to check on BF. Um, Maki, did you check the rooftop? Oh, Maki already did it for us. Because Maki has an emotional intelligence. Look at us go. Maki literally is actually doing what we were supposed to be doing. Anyway. <sighs> he wasn't there. Huh? He wasn't there. I told you. No one was on the roof. I tried calling for him, but there was no answer. Then? Where did he go? What's the point? He probably logged out first by himself. 
But don't worry, he's stupid enough not to get himself killed. But I know... He's stupid enough to get himself killed, but I know he won't really die. I suppose that's true. I don't have to worry about him. Let's, I have to hurry and log out. I have to check on Mew. Yeah, we have to log out to do that. Shuichi. Hold on, Shuichi. Uh, we can only log out one person at a time. Um, Gonta have next turn. Um, so Gonta say name in phone and someone come get him? Hmm. Who cares? Just do it already. Uh, Gonta. Um, Gonta Gokuharua. Ah. Uh. He disappeared. So that's what logging out looks like. Oh. So avatars disappear when they log out? But Mew's avatar is still here uh, and unmoving, right? What does that mean? Uh, um. Anyway, let's hurry back. Um. Sumugi? Shiragane. Right? Oh, Shuichi, uh, you can log out before me. I'm sure your detective intuition is kicking in, right? So go on ahead. Uh, I don't trust this, but okay. Shuichi! Oh, wait. Uh, now that we're alone, uh, I want to tell you something. Oh, God. Oh, God. Huh? What is it? <laughs> You're really useful. Huh? Hey! So, how about you stop hanging out with your dumb old Kaido and be my friend instead? Uh, I think I can be useful to you, you know? I can help you save everyone. And you want to save everyone, right? I'm... Shuichi! <laughs> She's like, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I am picking up that phone and leaving right now. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> Aw, I got rejected. Uh, but I won't give up that easily. When I find somebody I like, I do anything to get them to notice me. Even strangle them. Da, da, da. Ah. When I opened my eyes, I could only see black. I was logged out. The helmet on my head was blocking my vision. When I realized it, I quickly reached up and grabbed the helmet and pulled it off. But when I did, a nauseating sight was awaiting me. Uh, oh, no. Wait. Oh, Mew. Oh, no. Okay. Wait. What? Okay, so I figured I got that part, which is, again, why I didn't really react too much. Because I was like, okay, the only logical explanation is that Mew died. Um, but Mew's dead. So here we are, yet again, another character that Gamer has the most fucking freaking flower petals for is dead but whatever it's fine you know free time just doesn't exist in this game because anybody who i literally hang out with is just dead but it, it's whatever anyway <laughs> there's your reaction it's just that everybody just freaking wants to die when i actually have a, me has a plan i'm going to hang out with mew and maki the most so that i can finish up a free time literally can't do that anymore okay it's whatever oh lordy mew you know, that's unfortunate. But at least I don't have to, like, like voice-wise, at least it's better on my voice. But character-wise, that's so unfortunate because I love the Mew. But does that mean we're going to get another double kill? There's no way, right? Live and let the, la or the languid world live. Deadly life. Daybreak. The sun had risen while we were inside the visual world. Ding, ding, dong, ding, dong. Ding, dong, A dong, body ding. has been discovered! Everyone, please report to the computer room! Yeah. Wait, you're already here? Now 
Oh, wow, uh, I get to bring you a body discovery announcement live! Uh, mm. woof, doing it live is so great! Uh, better than a beer and fucking... Uh... Oh my gosh! Also, we're level 48 and somebody died. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Daddy, uh, why do you have such a potty mouth? Uh, uh, I was holding back because I already said one vulgar cast member. Or I, we already had one vulgar cast member. But now it's my time to shine. Uh, That's thankfully, nice. all my I am adorable, so I can get away with saying all kinds of crude stuff. Uh, yay, uh, I can finally be a foul mouth asshole. Ah! Uh, what a vulgar last word. What's wrong, Monotaro? You're just staring blankly in a dead body! Uh, staring at the body! <laughs> Mommy! Oh, that's right! That's right! I forgot about that. Monotaro dubbed freaking Mew his mommy. That's I forgot about that. Mommy Mew on the case. Now she's not. She's dead. See, this is what happens when characters you like actually die, Monotaro. It's almost like you shouldn't have dr driven freaking Monodon into insanity. And maybe I would have actually forgiven you. But I can't. I don't, like, I can't forgive your emotions at all. Because you are literally the one that caused my favorite character to die. So... Deal with it yourself, Mr. Monotaro. I am not taking the high road for you, okay? We barely heard the announcement as we as we stared at Mew dumbfounded. We just stared at Mew's corpse. That's terrible. It's, it's terrible. Why did it end up like this? Why? Mew, well, why? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, why was Mew killed? Uh... <laughs> Gonta not understand either. Mew like this when Gonta get, wake up. Why? What? Hey, what going on? Why did this happen? Yeah. Well, obviously a murder happened. Huh? Murder? Weird. What do you mean? Did something happen while Gonta sleep? No. We were to sleep. It that and that wasn't a dream. We were in the virtual world. Hey. Hey, hey where's Kaido? Ah. Oh. That's right, Kaido. Almost as if on cue, we heard footsteps running fast down the hallway, the sound growing louder until the door burst open. Hey, hey what is this all about? What was that body discovery now? What? what? Mew? What the hell is going on here? Hashtag sussy. It's fine. I, I don't trust that. You're too late, okay? All the others finished gasping in terror already. Uh, By the way. Oh, but anyway, uh, where were you this whole time, Kaido? What were you doing? Uh, so... I was just taking a nap. Yeah, a casual fucking nap. Yeah, yeah. Such a casual fucking excuse. Like, just keep going with the dumb excuse train, Kaido. I am going to gaslight myself into believing it's you so that it's not you, okay? That is my plan and I am sticking with it. I am going to 100% gaslight myself into believing you're the murderer, even though there's, like, I feel like no chance. But I gotta keep gaslighting myself, okay? So that when it inevitably, if it does happen, then I'm not, like, you know, upset about it. Because I would be upset about it, let's be real. Huh? Taking a nap? Um... You were s sleeping? Gonta was sleeping too. He had a strange dream. Gonta not understand anything. Um, As I said, that was the virtual world. Which means... So you logged out by yourself and then took a nap without our permission? You know... I suddenly got logged out before I even realized it. I was back here. Uh, um... You were logged out involuntarily? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if I was... Uh, if it was okay to log back in, so I went back to sleep... I back to my room and slept. And then when the body discovery announcement a body discovery announcement woke me up, I rushed over here. Hmm. Hey Kaido, if you're gonna lie, then you might as well do it better. Uh, do you think you can make up the killing game more exciting with a crappy lie like that? 
It's not a lie. I really was sleeping. Uh, hold on a minute. We can discuss whether or not that's a lie later. What we need right now is to begin the investigation. We need to discover who killed Mew. <laughs> uh, you seem ready. Uh, well, of course you are. Uh, Why? One of your dear friends was killed. So now it's finally your time to shine. Uh, mm. Explain it however you'd like, Kokichi. The fact is, we don't... Or if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be executed. No. But I won't let that happen. I'll find the culprit so that we can all survive. Um, Even if the culprit's Kaido? Don't screw around. <gasps> what? Okay. Now, now, please leave your arguments for the class trial. In the meantime. Ta-da! The Monokuma file! Uh, with this, you can find out the or even investigate up Mew's asshole. Uh, isn't that great, guys? <laughs> even there? Now then. Well then, do your best. Honestly, would not want to do that. Whatever. I am certain you'll make this turn of events even more entertaining, assholes! Oh, God. Daddy! Daddy seems to be really enjoying that dirty word! Mommy! Yeah. Okay, everyone. Let's do this. Uh, I'll find the culprit this time, no matter what. Hey! What are you being so cheery about? What? Uh, well, what are you being so sad about? Uh, you guys hated her, not as much as you hate me, but still. Stop it! That's not the issue. Of course I thought she was loud and annoying, but... I mean... I never wanted her to die. I wanted us all to escape together. Yes. Mew certainly was a brash and spirited, but that she wasn't a bad person. Listen closely. Believe me, I had her perform maintenance on my body, so I know well. I know very well. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know way too well. It's fine, though. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, I want to cry, but I can't. I, I should have Mew inst I should have had Mew install a crying function. Uh, oh. oh, wouldn't your tears cause you a short circuit? No. Not at all. My body is completely waterproof. Jeez. This isn't the time for that. Yeah. Uh, uh, Gata no can forgive. Gata never forgive this. Gata forgive, never forgive culprit either. Gota, idiot. But Gata never forgive self. Gata swear to protect everyone, but Gata fail to protect Mew. Gata no can protect anyone again. Gata is a failure as a gentleman. I'm so tired of this awful feeling. I have to do something. I can't let Shuichi. this. Shuichi, don't carry the burden all by yourself. Huh? Listen up. You're my sidekick. Don't forget. Yeah. We're gonna do it together. If we work together, we can solve this. Ah. No way, Jose. What? What? Well, you know. Shuichi is the most reliable person in the class trial, you know. Oh, why would we let such an important sus or person work with a suspect like you? Honestly, I agree with Kokichi. Uh, I would have much rather just work independently and not work with either of you, but Kokichi's gonna be like, he's mine. Even though it's gonna be so lovely, it's literally where I see this going. Kokichi's gonna be mine, and I'm gonna have to deal with his freaking ass the entire freaking deadly life when I could literally just do this all independently. But it's okay. Huh? Suspect. You're saying that if I was the culprit, Shuichi would hide the truth to protect me? Don't screw around. Bullshit. Do not underestimate Suichi. Even if I was the culprit, he's the type of guy that see things through. Hmm. But remember Kai Ede's class trial? Shut up! He saw us through that, didn't he? I believe in Suichi. Uh, okay. Kaido. <laughs> uh, you love to believe, don't you, Kaido? You really don't. But your care. belief can turn against you, especially in a killing game, you know? <sighs> I've got no idea what you're talking about. I don't get it at all. Fine, if you're gonna get all worked up over it, then me and Shuichi won't team up. But, don't worry about don't it. Don't worry, it's just for now. <laughs> but hearing him say that, I can't stay quiet. I believe in you. That said, try and get through this on your own. Thank you! Oh my god, boyfriend, you know what I need. No, I mean, he knows what I need, but Kokichi doesn't. Clear of any suspicion, and with your own power. <laughs> <laughs> if you can be cleared... I don't like this at all. It feels like another one of Kokichi's tricks. Of course this is. Kaido we're talking about, and 
nothing I say can change his mind. Regardless, there's only one thing I can do. I can't be afraid, and I can't get lost now. In order to protect everyone, I have to do something. I have to do something. Investigation! And first, let's check the Monokuma file. I was going to end the episode, but I literally can't right now. The victim is the ultimate inventor, Mew Iruma. The body was discovered in the computer room on the fourth floor. Approximate time of death, 6.30 a.m., with no external wounds on the body. No external wounds? Killed around 6.30 in the morning? The time of death happened 30 minutes before now, while we were still in the virtual world? Um, Kokichi, what do you want? Uh, if you don't have to be, or you don't have to be wary of me, it's not like I'm gonna get in your way, Shuichi. Um, it's just, I hate lies so much that I tend to suspect others a lot. Kaido said he wouldn't team up with you for in this case, but I can't trust those words. So that means... That's why I'm keeping an eye out, just in case he tries to bother you. Uh, uh, um, keeping an eye out. It's true! Don't take it the wrong way, though I'm not trying to replace Kaido as your partner, okay? All right. But I'll help you as much as I can. Uh, so we're gonna invest. Where are you gonna investigate now? Yay! I have to deal with Kokichi. It's great. Love that. What is he up to? Why is he following me? Monica will file for has been added to the truthful section of the handbook. And in the next episode, I get to literally investigate and have Kokichi on my tail and talk about everything. I'm so thrilled about it, guys. We'll see you guys in the next one when I actually get to do that. But what a crazy episode. We got a death. Was not expecting to get a death there. But, well, up until the point where it was like, Mew's body's not actually functioning. I was like, oh, she's dead. It's fine. <laughs> but yeah, in the next episode, we'll catch you doing that. Uh, see you guys later.